Welcome back to the 4KO. As always, I'm your boy O. And today, we have three topics to discuss. That's right, baby. Three topics. So this is going to be a lengthy video. First, we're going to talk about Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League and how that game is bringing even more damage to that of Warner Brothers. Then, we're going to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine officially crossing over that magical number of $1 billion worldwide. Didn't I tell you? Didn't your boy O tell you guys from the start where that film was heading to? That's right. It is time to discuss that. And lastly, we're going to go over the poll again. That's right. Snipes versus Ali for Blade. We have more numbers. And trust me when I tell you, this thing is an official landslide. But look, before I get started, do your boy O one major favor. Please hit that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks at notifying subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button to help out that algorithm, baby. Now let's get into today's video. <clears throat> First up, let's talk about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. This article comes from erogamer.com. I'm sorry, .net. It is titled, Suicide Squad Flop Leads to 41% Drop in Warner Brothers Gaming Revenue. Do you know how much 41% of a drop is for a studio like this in their gaming revenue? It is a whole damn lot. That means if you made $100 last year, you're now making 59 So that's nearly half. 9% away from that, but nearly half. This company continues to take L's, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what they have to say. Gaming revenue for Warner Brothers Discovery has declined by 41% year on year due to the weak performance of Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. So in other words, in other words, this game was the wrong choice. In other words, this game should have never been made. I don't know what it is with Warner Brothers with getting the wrong idea about something. You know, they had the Suicide Squad film. I'm sorry, I do not want to get them confused. They had the Suicide Squad film and then the Suicide Squad film. But the first Suicide Squad film was that of a financial success. However, the second one, mm-mm. That thing flopped hard. And I know people are trying to make the excuse that it was the pandemic. However, the Suicide Squad in 2021 was the only major budgeted film that did not gross over $400 million. Godzilla vs. Kong, Dune, Shang-Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings. All of those films grossed over $400 million. And The Suicide Squad is sitting there at like 180. Think about that for a second. So I don't know how Warner Brothers come to the conclusion that people wanted more Suicide Squad. This should have easily been a Justice League game. They're right there in front of you. When you're playing the game as the Suicide Squad, you're looking at Superman, you're looking at Batman, you're looking at Wonder Woman, you're looking at Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, and here it is. You can't even play as them. What kind of DC game is this? And yeah, I know people are going to say, oh, look, maybe they tried to give us something different. And maybe so. But here it is. They failed at it. They straight up failed at it. First off, you gave us a Batman I don't know how many games that was. I was about to say trilogy, but I believe there was like six Arkham games. And then you follow that up with a Suicide Squad game and not a Justice League game. So if you ask me, you get what you deserve. Your stock is falling. You have to take a $9.1 billion write down, right? And this is also adding to that. So this company is doing bad. Like for real, there's no good future for it. When you get to this point, you need to start selling off your assets. In fact, you should have never held them to yourself. You know, the whole one continuity across video games, comic books, um, TV shows, movies, all of that 
is going to take away revenue from that of Warner Brothers. They made their money by selling a lot of that stuff off, man. And here it is. They're trying to ice skate uphill, <laughs> as they continue to say in my Blade videos, right? <laughs> so with that being said, Warner Brothers, you're just going to have to take this L and just hope that you can dig yourself out of this hole, right? Just Let's just hope that. Next up, Deadpool and Wolverine. That's right, baby. Deadpool and Wolverine. This article comes from Forbes. It is titled Deadpool and Wolverine Celebrates Second $1 Billion Box Office of 2024. That's right. I believe it was Inside Out that had the first billion dollar film of the year. Yeah, that's right. It was Inside Out too. So right now, Disney is on the road, right? Think about that. With about $925 million in global receipts as it's headed into its third weekend, Marvel Studios' Deadpool and Wolverine is carrying its superhero road trip to another record level as it celebrates becoming the second $1 billion box office earner of 2024. Inside Out 2 is the only other film this year that managed to feat, managed, managed that feat to date. They got it all wrong now. Sorry about that. All right. Needing only $37 million from each of domestic and international box office this weekend, director Sean Levy's Deadpool and Wolverine should easily sell past those figures with at least $55 million in North America ticket sales alone. So, yeah, baby, Deadpool and Wolverine is tearing it up. I told you guys. I told you guys. And I know people are going to say, look, why do you keep talking about this film? It's because there's so much in it to talk about. Think about that. There's not many comic book movies out there that you can walk out of the movie theater and say, hey, let's have a conversation about this, about this, about that, about what the hell that was. Think about that for a second. There's a lot of things in Deadpool and Wolverine that satisfied all of us. Blade, Gambit, Many people like the Electra, you know, role from that of um, I feel Jennifer Garner. That's her name, Jennifer Garner, Ben Affleck's ex-wife. So yeah, man, one billion dollars is nothing to sneeze at. It's very hard to earn that amount, and Deadpool and Wolverine is sailing past it, like for real, man. This is great for the comic book movie genre. You know, many people continue to say that the comic book movie genre. Is dying, right? It, it, it's, it's fatigue, you know, superhero movie fatigue. And I refuse to believe that. I really do. I will always say as long as a movie looks interesting, it actually attempts to satisfy you, entertain you, right? And also give you what you want, then you could enjoy it. That's how I feel. See, many studios, they have been failing at this. They have been pretty much in their own space, right? They, they are giving you project after project that you're not asking for. And then they're wondering why those projects are failing. But Ryan Reynolds, he gets it. He understands what people wanted. He heard people for so long say this. We want to see Wolverine in the yellow blue suit. That is iconic. And it's a damn shame. It took us, what, nearly 30 years to get that? Come on, man. And Ryan Reynolds came right out of the gate. Here, have it. You want to see Shannon Tatum as Gambit? Have it. You want to see that a Wesley Snipes as Blade once again? Have it. At this point, Ryan Reynolds and Oprah are the same damn people. You get what you want. 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 Like, for real, man, this is great news. One billion dollars for another superhero movie. That's right, baby. It ain't going nowhere anytime soon. As long as studios listen to the fans. As long as studios understand what we want. Remember my video from yesterday, the Blade video. I said, listen, they have the ability to communicate with us these nowadays. So they damn sure better do that. Like, for real, it is so easy. Now, let's get into the next topic, ladies and gentlemen. This is the poll results 
on my channel. As you know, I'm going to keep on talking about this. I know some folks are going to say, dude, you do not have to talk about this. Oh, I didn't want to do that. You do not have to talk about this every day. Yes, the hell I do. And I am going to talk about it as much as I can. This is a conversation that needs to be had, right? And I know someone said in the comment section, dude, you're the ambassador of hashtag recast Wesley Snipes. And I say, you know what? I will happily accept that role. Just like my boy E-Man movie reviews, right? He happily accepted the role of recast Uchala. And guess what? To the day, he talks about it. Respect for E-Man. And guess what? That's the role I am about to take here. We're going to talk about this damn near every day until we actually get some answers, right? At least give us some answers on Ali's blade or something so we can switch up the conversation. But until then, until then, this is the talk that needs to be had. All right. The poll results. And trust me, like I told you, it's not going to be all that shocking to you all. After, uh, why is it doing that? Okay. Now we have 2,000 and 400 votes remember yesterday the vote count was at 600 maybe 550 i can't remember off the top of my head but i think it was right at 600 votes now we're way past that we're at 2400 votes think about that for a second and after 2400 votes it is snipes 94 percent ali Six. So Ali haven't even moved the needle. I believe it was five percent or so. No, actually, it went down. Ali was at seven percent and Snipes was at 93 percent. Now that gap is getting even wider. Think about that for a second. People have moved on from Ali's version. Apparently, it, it is what it is. Marvel Studios haven't given us him at all. Now they gave us Wesley Snipes, and here it is. People want that of Wesley. They refuse to move on from him. And I know I sound a little repetitive, man, but I'm glad this movement is happening. I am really am. Why? Why are you glad, oh? Because I feel the way that Ryan Reynolds moves, the way that he develops things, if Marvel Studios was to go ahead with Wesley Snipes, I believe in my heart, and I could say for what I have witnessed from that of Ryan Reynolds, because you have to understand this third Deadpool film would have released a long time ago if it wasn't for Disney acquisition of that of Fox, right? That put a lot of things on hold because of the finances. But how Ryan Reynolds, Reynolds does his business, I believe we'll have this film in less than a year and a half. That's how I feel. I feel if Marvel Studios goes with Wesley Snipes' version, this movie will come a lot quicker because reports are saying that the reason that the whole film is being held up for Ali's version is because Ali himself is giving the studio problem about the script. I don't know if you all know this or not, but Ali has final say on the Blade script. That's right. Yeah, we had some other reports that talked about Blade taking the backseat. I made a video about that, and trust me, I was livid. I was absolutely livid, baby. I was like, hell no, you're not going to do that. Then we had another report saying that Blade was going to be that of a period piece. And I'm like, huh? Huh? A period piece? The only period that Blade needs to be taking place in is present day or the future. That's it. We do not have to turn back the clock to make a Blade film. Maybe to make it make sense into the MCU. I do not know. But they're saying that Ali is the one holding things up. Now, this could be him, you know, being petty towards the studio because the studio fired the writer that he recommended. And maybe he doesn't like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I tell you what, if an actor is going to be the main reason why a film gets held up, then maybe the studio should be looking in another direction. Maybe. Maybe the studio feels that if they keep on going with Ali's version, they're never going to get this thing developed. What, two Blade videos ago, I told you guys, listen, this Blade film has been removed altogether 
for Marvel Studios' release schedule. I told you guys that. Remember that, right? And now here it is. We have no recent word about the movie. Fans are advocating for Wesley Snipes to come back. Ryan Reynolds is talking about Wesley Snipes coming back. So the studio may very well be moving into a new direction with that of the character. That's how I feel. That's, that's, that may very well work out for all of us. Just remember, 94% to 6%, baby, there's a minority out there. Like, for real. Matter of fact, I would say, if you get the calculator out, and I'm not a map nutrition, right? That's like, what, 200 people who voted in Ali's very favor? Something like that? Not even that many. I mean, come on. That's it. Why you got 2,000 plus people who voted for that of Wesley Snipes. So, with that being said, which direction should the studio move into? You better pay attention, Marvel Studios, because you have an opportunity here and you better ride this wave as long as possible. Get everything out of it. Something that DC doesn't do. Get everything out of this opportunity that has a mass for you. So simple, right? So simple. Fans are speaking, you better damn listen. I'm your boy. O. Hopefully you have watched this video all the way to then help you brought that algorithm. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to do so. I am trying to reach that magical number of 10,000 subscribers, so I would be highly appreciative. You will help me cross over that threshold by hitting that subscribe button. And if you are going to hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube absolutely sucks and notifies subscribers that content creators has uploaded videos to their platform. And don't forget to hit that like button. To amount that algorithm, baby, but in the comments below, let me know what you think about Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League having Warner Brothers experience a minus 41% drop in revenue and also Deadpool and Wolverine crossing over that magical number of $1 billion proving that the superhero movie fatigue myth is that of a myth, right? For real. And also, how do you feel about these poll results, baby? Wesley is dominating and it seems to me that people do not want that of Ali. And always remember, let it love hon ton roulette. That means let the good times roll. But let me know in the comments below.